uh, when Americans historically are asked, what is it that you most uh, want or look for in a work of art, the, the, the first word out of their mouths is beauty. And we know from many, many interviews and stories in, in the art journals that American artists have been revolt, in revolt against the notion of beauty as being the, the central uh, beauty and truth being the central components of, of the art experience. So uh, there's this interesting disconnect. Americans are interested in art, um, but they also, uh, and they're appreciative when you get a blockbuster exhibit that's all Picasso or all Matisse or maybe the tooth joined or Gauguin and, and Van Gogh uh, joined. Uh, Americans will really turn out and enjoy those shows and the, the uh, but the shows with the greatest attendance of all tend to be the ones that I talk about in visual shock because they get so much publicity. So that sensation at the Brooklyn Museum drew uh, far, far more uh, visitors than any show that had ever been put on there. Similarly, the uh, exhibition of motorcycles, the history of motorcycles uh, placed on the ramp, of uh, the Nautilus ramp of the Guggenheim Museum in 1998, uh, which caused Jed Pearl, a major critic, to say that the Guggenheim has been lobotomized. Uh, well, that was the best attended exhibition in Guggenheim history, and the huge catalog, which sells for $85, is the most purchased art catalog in, uh, of any museum uh, exhibition ever. And the people who came, uh, who arrived for that exhibition, uh, arrived in many cases on motorcycles, with black t-shirts, no sleeves, tattoos all up and down their arms. And these people were, were the press eagerly interviewed them and asked them, why are you here? Uh, and, and they learned, well, I've never been to a museum before, but I really like my hog. Uh, and it, it brought in vast numbers of people. And the Guggenheim made a lot of money, not only selling tickets, but in the gift shop, you could buy a, a full-size plastic motorcycle for your child for $295, uh, among other pieces of schlock that, that, that the Guggenheim managed to put on sale.